Hey, this tutorial is a continuation of my previous tutorial that has to do with connecting to the server in Dreamweaver. And it's going to be plugged into the end of that video, and I'm also setting this up as a separate tutorial video in my playlist. So um, you're either watching this part of that video or you're watching it as a separate video. But this starting here now, what we're going to cover is exporting and importing sites in Dreamweaver, the actual site settings. And in the process of that, we will discuss uh, moving sites from one version of Dreamweaver to another. So this could happen on the same machine, really, or just moving from one computer to another. So I'll actually be doing both. I'm gonna, I have CS5 on one of my machines, and this is where I predominantly worked on most of my sites. And I wanna move those sites, like the site definitions in Dreamweaver, from Dreamweaver CS5 on this machine to Dreamweaver CS6, CS6 excuse me, on another machine. Okay, and you can adapt what I'm going to show you here to a variety of versions of Dreamweaver on Mac or PC. This, the settings should look pretty similar going all the way back to uh, CS3, at least, I think even further. So let's get cracking. Okay, here we are in Dreamweaver CS5 on my older laptop, and I have one site up. It doesn't really matter which site I have up, but you can see just by looking at this, all each of these sites has a specific definition connecting to the root folder locally on my machine and a server definition connecting to the server online remotely and I don't want to have to redo that one two three four five I don't know it's almost 20 times it's a lot so here's how you solve this issue okay go to manage sites this can be done from here or the site menu highlight every single one of them okay now I don't really need the endless surf site because I have moved that one over as part of another but whatever, I, I, I'm just gonna highlight every one of them, okay? And I'm gonna export. Exporting will create this file that saves the site settings to be moved to another version of Dreamweaver or another computer, okay? So I'm gonna export. It says back up my settings, includes login, password, and local paths. Yeah, for sure. Uh, passwords are not exported in a secure encrypted format. That's fine. I can deal with that. I, this is only going to go directly from one of my computers to another, so I'm okay with that. I'm going to click OK. It's going to ask me where I want to save it. I have an external hard drive set up to handle this right now, so I'm going to go over there to the external hard drive. Um, actually, hang on. This SD card. Where's my external hard drive? Here. Okay, there it is right there. So this is uh, external drive. I'm just gonna make another folder on here temporarily so I know what these are. Let's call it DW Sites. Okay, and inside of this folder, uh, I will save my site definitions. All right, so you click Done, and you go back over here and go into Explore. Let's take a look and make sure they're there. Okay, wrong drive. Sorry about that. Computer secure. Okay, so here I'm in the I'm in the free agent drive where I saved them. DW sites. You can see they're STE files. Okay, STE files are Dreamweaver site files. Most programs aren't going to recognize that, but if you go into another version of Dreamweaver on this computer or another, you'll be able to import these exported site settings. Okay, so from here. I'm almost ready to transfer back to my other computer to put these sites in there so I can start predominantly using that one and then I don't really have to worry about the sites on this machine. The one thing I, I want you to consider, especially if you have a lot of sites on here that involve possibly some pretty um, uh, heavy content that might consume quite a bit of space, is to go to the folder okay, where the sites are and move the files from here instead of setting up all the site definitions on your computer and then remotely downloading all of the files from your server. That's just going to take way, way longer. Now keep in mind, um, you do want the most updated versions of files. So if you haven't updated these sites for a while, but you did from another computer, maybe you should download from the server. Do you understand what I mean by that? It's, it's because you, you want the most updated files on your machine. But if, if you're the only ones that manage the sites anyway, these site files should be the most recent one. So instead of downloading them from the server, this is a faster way to do it. All right, so I'm going to take all of these, which is, this is quite a few files here, and I'm going to highlight them 
um, down, and then I'm going to copy them into my hard drive. So I'll do that while I'm on pause. You guys obviously don't want to watch all these files copying, okay? So it's pretty much everything in my sites folder, because I have a sites folder on my other computer, so I want everything from this sites folder to move to the other computer. And because I've defined my sites in here to connect to a folder called sites, all lowercase, um, inside of my username, which is Sloan Mike, so it's the same on both computers, I won't have to fix that on any of my site definitions either if I move these folders over with the definitions. So it's one more consideration to make. It's, I mean, it's very, very simple to simply go to manage sites like we did, highlight all the sites, export them, but what about the files, right? Do you really want to go back and, and download all the files remotely once you set up all the sites in there? I think that's just going to take too long. So while I'm on pause, I'm going to transfer all these site files. Okay, so now I've copied all those site files, which did take a while. It's quite a few files. Some of these have a lot of stuff in there, uh, but way faster than downloading from the remote server. So now I have my sites folder and I have my site definitions. So I'm going to eject this drive and move back over to my other computer. Uh, and what I did, just so you know, uh, check free agent. I actually removed, well, I thought I did. Uh, oh, that's the free agent drive. I actually remove them completely from this computer because if I'm switching, I, I really don't want to have multiple computers with different site definitions on them. I want to use one machine, so I don't really need this folder anymore. I just removed it completely, so there it's gone now. If I use Dreamweaver, uh, you know, to edit certain uh, sites in here, that's fine. Um, actually, if I ever need to use it to connect, I might still want to leave that folder in there just because, uh, just because. You know, so if I refresh now, it's going to be an empty folder. All well, the root folder is gone, but um, yeah, maybe I'll go back through and clear all those out. It depends on depends on the capacity to which you want to still keep using uh, your computer. Um, yeah, hmm, I did remove all those folders. Uh, I'll deal with that later. I'm just going to move the hard drive over to my other machine, and then I'll start recording there. So I will see you in a second. Okay, so now I have moved to my other machine, and there would be a lot less copying if I was just simply transferring the site definitions from one version of Dreamweaver to another. Uh, in this case, the example I'm showing you, I'm transferring all of the site files and the site definitions from one computer to another and from CS5 to CS6. So I have plugged in my hard drive, uh, which is right here. So I'm gonna move the files um, from my sites folder okay into and I don't know if you guys noticed um, on my other computer I had my site folder defined with a capital F it was named F the capital S it was named with a capital S so that means that if I want those site definitions to work to access the same folder in the same user folder on a different computer I have to have the folder name identical over here as well so I'm just going to quickly fix that before I copy all of my site files into this folder. So that's one step, extra step I have simply because I wanted to move it from one computer to another. So I'm going to go rename, I'm going to go here and put a capital S there. Because as you know, setting up Dreamweaver sites, the folder name has to be identical and, and it is cap sensitive. So I've now matched that to the folder that I had um, over on my other machine. And on my hard drive and this machine, I named it with a small s, but I just changed that one because it was a capital S. So uh, I don't want to just replace one with the other because I do have some site files in here already. Okay, so I'm going to move, I think Endless Surf is one of the ones I already have in there. Uh, so I'm not going to move that one, but everything else I'm going to move into my sites folder. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Obviously, you don't need to watch me do that. I'll be on pause. Okay, so now back on, my, on this computer, that would have been the first step, is, is moving all these site files in here. and. As I've mentioned several times, you would have had the option, if you're already connected to the server, if you make the connection, to just download the files. But you'd still need all these folders created because otherwise when you import the site definition from the other machine into this machine, into the new version of Dreamweaver, it's going to be looking for all these folders as part of the site definition and they won't be there in this same named folder in this same place on this computer. So that's why I moved them all as well, is just to make things a little simpler that way. Uh, so now, for the easy part, to bring in the sites in Dreamweaver, and as you know, I have a bunch of them, uh, but you might only have one or two, and you're just trying to save yourself the trouble of having to redefine the site and the usernames and the passwords and all the, all the FTP login stuff. 
you go into, now we're in CS6 again, so we go into Manage Sites, and we go Import Site, and we're going to go to the folder on the hard drive where I have all those sites ready to import, all the STE files that we saw a few minutes ago. Okay, we go to Computer, we go to my hard drive where I have those files. You don't really need to move the files over, I mean, you just need to get the, the site files up and then import them from Dreamweaver. Okay, so here they are. I'm going to highlight all of them in that folder, and I'm going to open all of them. So it, it, unless I'm mistaken, and this is different now, this should import all of the sites, and that's what it appears that it's doing. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, oops, yeah, I didn't mean to import that one because I already had that one. Remember I'd mentioned that before. So look, Dreamweaver's so smart, it even uh, solves the problem for you. Endless Surf 2 I'll just get rid of once they're done importing sites. Uh, yeah, sure, here, just make it... I don't want it to stop the process, so I'm just going to connect to whatever, anything, on the computer, and then it'll keep going. Um, okay. Okay, and there we go. All done. So it took all the sites from my other machine, put them in there, and even though it was a different version of Dreamweaver, I go in here now, you can see all of my sites, and I am going to go to Manage Sites and get rid of Endless Surf 2, because I already had that one in there, and that's, I'm glad that actually happened, that's a good example of how friendly Dreamweaver is, and to delete the site, right there, get rid of it, okay, so, let's click on one of the new sites and make sure it worked, okay, there's, uh, there's that site, Okay, which should connect to the folder called Ruth's Hat now in my sites folder, and it did, and it worked. So, and that's one of the keys because when you have a site, as you all know now, because you've already done this in a previous tutorial that I've had, um, the first thing you do is define the place in the computer where that site is located. Okay, I set up the same place on this machine to go to the folder called Sites and then go to a folder by the same exact name so I wouldn't have to deal with that. And then, this is still in there without having to redo it. I hit test, everything works great. I just transferred almost 20 sites without having to redo the site definition uh, and the remote server connection for any of them. So there you go. And that's it for this tutorial. Um, and you're either watching this as part of the as part of the uh, part of the full server connection or just the exporting and importing sites connection. Either way you cut it, you can see that that process is quite simple. So if you ever set up end up setting up a lot of sites in Dreamweaver and then you have to switch computers to something, not a big deal. And I've just shown you how. So I will see you guys in the next lesson.